Welcome to Contextual Electronics. My name is Chris Gamble. Uh, this is going to be a video series on YouTube, a short one, about getting you to build hardware quickly. Um, Contextual Electronics normally is a 10-week course all about teaching you how to build hardware and also how to use a program called KiCad, which is an open source uh, free software program that actually helps you to build PCBs. It's a PCB CAD tool. However, this is, is going to be a smaller program uh, showing you the easiest way to get building hardware and the easiest way to get building hardware is to start small and to start smaller than that is to do something like blinking an LED so this this set of videos is going to be called getting to blinky getting to blinky because that's a great way to get started in electronics you may have already done that with something like this an Arduino or maybe like this with the uh, launch pad or like uh, this, BeagleBone, right? That's often the thing that you start with. When you're starting with a new dev board or starting with a new kit, <clears throat> you want to start by blinking an LED because that shows that you know, you understand the programming environment, and it feels good, too. I mean, starting with a program, writing some code, and then interacting with your physical environment, making a change to your physical environment, that's just a really awesome feeling, and it's a great way to start in electronics. So we're going to try and do that in hardware. Now you might be saying, well, I can do that right now. I can use something like a breadboard, right? And you can. You can you know, put LEDs and capacitors, resistors, whatever else. You can put that on a breadboard. You can start blinking something in five minutes, right? Put, on some, put some power there. However, uh, the next step from that, and the thing that I really want to show off, is that PCBs are getting so incredibly easy to build. And the tools out there are free. They're open source. Uh, there's services out there that help you build PCBs cheaply and you can get them delivered to your door. You can use them to you know, practice soldering. So all these things, um, we can show this in a very, very short time frame. And that's what we're going to be doing with the Getting to Blinky videos. So there's going to be about eight videos showing all the different steps in KiCad and then a building step and a showing off step of you know, the final product. But really it's just going to be a couple simple videos using KiCad uh, keeping track of you know the clicks and the scrolls and all of the the hotkeys because that's a really big uh, part of KiCad as well. Showing all these things, and then hopefully, if you want, you could even just copy exactly what I'm doing, and you'll learn like that. Or if you want to take that and kind of remix it, or you know, uh, try and figure out other things you can do with KiCad, that's great. So we're gonna get started. Uh, this in this first video, we're gonna kind of launch up a project. We're gonna show you how to get started into into the project environment and then from here we'll actually start you know dropping components and uh, building footprints and symbols and all that other stuff so thanks for watching and let's dive in and start creating a project so this is the main screen where we're going to be working in uh, when we're doing screenshots uh, we are going to load up the KiCad launcher uh, this is an old program so we're going to start a new one blank And now we're going to navigate to where I set up for this kind of thing. There we go, getting to Blinky. And then we're just going to call this GTB. Oop, wrong one. GTB. You can also see up here, this is the uh, the keystroke tracker that I was talking about. So, All right, here we go. Brand new project. That's great. Uh, so, what else we're going to do here? Let's actually dig in real quick to the uh, schematic editor. We'll create a schematic. We'll create a uh, layout real quick. It's not found because it doesn't exist yet. I'll we'll hit save. Save here. Save whole project. And then real quick in, if we hit shift, and well, if we hit the question mark key, that pulls up this hot key list. That's a great thing to learn. I'm not going to go through all of them, but a, uh, you'll see me using a lot of these as we go through and start building this stuff. So that's definitely an important thing to do. Uh, let's also create a... This is the uh, PCB new. This is going to be where we do our layout. doesn't exist yet because it's a new project. So we'll hit yes, save, and then we are good to go. All right, so that's kind of all we need to do for the Getting the Blinky starting part one video. More in part two when we start actually putting together a circuit.